Hello everyone, Liz here at the Mix and Ball Homestead. Today I'm going to be canning some turkey soup and I'm going to be doing it using the leftover Thanksgiving turkey. I'm going to be using half a teaspoon of chicken noir, a quarter of a teaspoon of kosher salt, I have some onions, carrots, celery, uh, potatoes. My leftover turkey is back there and I also have my lids. You guys, I'm reusing my lids. I'm not saying for you to do that, I'm just telling you what I'm doing. Um, these lids are very in very good condition, so I'm going to take a chance. Um, I also have my vinegar here, my jar lifter, my debubbler, my funnel, and my turkey stock. And my turkey stock is already boiled. My jars are in my sink filled with hot water. I'm going to be using my 23 quart um, Presto canner. This is a dial gauge, and I'm going to be using quart sized jars. I have three quarts of water at the bottom of my canner. Uh, which is the recommended amount for this particular size scanner and I also have my metal rack so let's go ahead and get started just went ahead and dumped the water out of my jar and I'm gonna start I'm using my hands make sure that you wash your hands before um, you start doing this each one of these jars is gonna be one serving so I want to make sure that I have enough turkey in there so I did some onions some celery carrots and our potatoes On top of that, I'm going to add half a teaspoon of nor seasoning and a quarter of a teaspoon of kosher salt. I'm going to go ahead and ladle in my liquids. And I roast it Thanksgiving turkey. To make my stock, all I did was to get all of the uh, remaining bones and carcass um, and whatever meat was left on that. Um, turkey and then I went ahead and boiled that I covered it with water and I added more carrots more celery more onions to make my stock I'm gonna go ahead and debubble I'm always burning my hands with this you guys place my lid and my band And I'm gonna go ahead and place that in the canner now. This particular canner holds um, seven seven quart jars. I'm gonna re repeat the same process. I'm gonna add my turkey. onions my celery my carrots and my potatoes and I'm going to go ahead and add my turkey stock to add my salt and my nor seasoning. Now I'm going to go ahead and finish filling it up. The bubble. another jar okay I'm gonna go ahead and do all of the rest of them and then I'll bring you once I have the canner filled up okay and now I'm gonna place my lid now I'm going to align the V here with the V here I'm gonna go ahead and allow this to build steam and then I'll bring you guys back Okay, so it is now 6.03 and our canner has been steadily venting, um, so I'm going to go ahead and place uh, my timer for 10 minutes.
and the 10 minutes have passed so our timer is about to go off so now I'm gonna go ahead and place my pressure regulator and allow my canner to come to pressure so for my altitude where I'm located I need to be canning at 11 pounds of pressure okay so we just hit the 11 pounds of pressure so at this point I'm gonna start my timer and I'm gonna go ahead and start reducing my um, my stove to make sure that I don't go above the 11 pounds of pressure Burn my hand again. All right, guys. So I timer finished. I went ahead and turned my stove off, and I'm gonna go ahead and move this pot out of the element and to the other side. Um, yes, I know that often we're told, which is true, you know, don't do anything to the canner, don't move it. Um, but for this particular Presto canner, the instructor said to move it out of the element. So I'm going to move it out of the hot stove into the other um, burner that is not hot. Okay, so the canner is now on the other side of the stove. We're going to go ahead and allow this to cool off for about 30 minutes. So that way the um, dial gauge is all the way to zero. The back bell is completely down and the canner has quieted down and cooled off a bit. We don't want to take our jars now because if we do, you know, we can probably crack them or they won't seal properly or even, uh, you know, risk siphoning. Okay, so it, it has been 30 minutes um, and we are going to go ahead and remove our pressure regulator. The back bell is down and our dial gauge is down to zero. So that indicates that it's safe to open. You might want to wear gloves. Um, let me turn this off. You may want to wear gloves um, to make sure that you don't burn your hands, but I'm going to show you how to open it. Um, but still, be careful. Wear gloves if you're not comfortable um, doing this. When you open it, you just twist it open. Then you lift and you open away from you. Grab your handy dandy jar lifter. I'm going to park you all over here with my red oil so you can see what I'm doing and here is our turkey soup it's still bubbling and this is going to be a wonderful addition to our pantry especially now the winter is coming the days are getting colder and colder and soups always help out and there you have it our Thanksgiving turkey leftovers have been transformed into turkey soup well I hope you have enjoyed this short video and that you are also canning preserving or buying food whatever you can do so until next time you hear that <laughs> that's wonderful so until next time, may the Lord bless you, may the Lord keep you. It's my prayer for you. Y'all have a wonderful day.